the International Finance Corporation estimated that 65 million firms, or about 40 percent of formal micro, small, and medium enterprises, or MSMEs in developing countries, including Africa, have an unmet financing needs of about five. $0.2 trillion every year. And that is equivalent to 1.4 times the current level of the global MSMEs for lending. Since the COVID-19 pandemic started last year, most MSMEs faced many challenges which led to the decline of their revenues, failure to pay salaries for workers, retrenchment, and even inability to pay their suppliers, which of course resulted in the cut of supply goods and inability to service their financial debt, especially to banks. But despite those challenges, Ecobank Nigeria last week announced a record 100 billion naira credit window for MSMEs in Nigeria. Joining me now for a two part conversation on this is the managing director and regional executive of, of Ecobank Nigeria Limited, Patrick Akimwoto. A good evening to you, sir, and thanks for coming on the show in our studio tonight. Thank you, Wasin. Uh, good evening. Thank you very much for having you. Let's start with the latest first quarter GDP report, which shows some growth levels in the manufacturing sector, with the food beverage segment jumping to 7.11%. What role did the banking sector play in the first quarter this year that gave this report? Well, thank you. Uh, you would recall that the banking industry has been quite focused on leading uh, the charge for diversification of our economy from being a mono product, crude oil-led economy, to a diversified economy that begins to uh, bring out the potential of the agri industry, uh, the manufacturing sector, the health sector, the creative industry, and leveraging on the fact that we have 200 million Nigerians, uh, very entrepreneurial people, uh, huge natural resources beyond uh, crude oil. And in this respect, the central bank specifically led the way by creating various intervention facilities uh, meant to provide single-digit uh, funding uh, for these critical segments of the economy. You recall some of them includes the anchor borrower scheme. It includes uh, the real sector support fund. Uh, it, it includes the AXMIS uh, fund. It includes the health center, uh, health care, uh, 100 billion uh, Naira facilities. It included the 1 trillion uh, Naira uh, package for banks uh, to be able to lend to these segments, particularly with the advent of COVID. And we're beginning to see the impact in the growth of our GDP in the first quarter uh, of this year, the agri sector, the food and beverage sector, and the manufacturing sector led the way in empowering uh, the growth of our economy. It's early days, but it's good signs. And it shows clearly uh, that the point made that minimum loan deposit ratio moved to a minimum of 60% in the first instance, and later at 65% uh, has really resulted in an expansion of credit to the private sector, which has moved from about 28 trillion to currently over 31 trillion, a boost of over 3 trillion naira uh, in a period where the world was folding and Nigeria began to take its rightful place to show growth and show the potentials as the giant or the biggest economy in Africa. That's what we're seeing currently. So, but if we narrow it down into the MSME subsector of the manufacturing food beverages, your bank recently announced the single largest commercial funding support, 100 billion naira for that sector. That sounds like music to my ears. What are you driving at here with 100 billion naira? Well, uh, EcoBank is, is, is a Pan-African bank. And in Africa, uh, 90, uh, close to 90. 5% uh, of businesses are actually MSMEs. And they actually provide about 40 to 50% of the GDP of our economies in Africa and particularly in Nigeria. So in playing our role as a critical participant, channeling resources to power the growth of the economy in Africa, it's just natural uh, for us at EcoBank Nigeria to step forward to announce this pipeline that enables us tap into the various initiatives provided by the central bank 
and actually bring it into the reality of the funding of our SMEs. Now, with digital platforms, it is quite uh, much easier and very efficient to track the performance of our SMEs. They are able to engage in market access beyond their immediate vicinity uh, because people can pay from within Nigeria and within Africa and indeed globally for various services by SMEs. And with more focus on the female entrepreneurs, it's the year uh, of uh, challenging, uh, daring everyone to challenge, to give uh, our women real empowerment to play their rightful uh, roles. Uh, quite naturally, EcoBank, we are pleased to step forward and put this on the table, inviting all SMEs, entrepreneurs across the country in various spheres, be it in the agri segment, in the services segment, in the creative segment, uh, in the export business. We can export Adire all across Africa and globally. We can export uh, various services that we, we are able to uh, provide as entrepreneurs in Nigeria. And this fund signals uh, the firm position of EcoBank to power the SME, provide more employment in Nigeria. SMEs represent close to 60% of the employment in Nigeria. And with us powering SMEs with 100 billion Naira, we are able to contribute positively to creating employment for our young ones and giving them the opportunity to pilot and push Nigeria uh, to the forefront of the global economy. But, but again, is this uh, 100 uh, billion Naira SME's funding support just about putting the cash on the table as credit line? What else is EcoBank Nigeria placing on the table for the MSMEs to upskill them? Thank you. We do recognize that funding is critical, but it's not the only requirement. First, we talk of capacity building, providing competencies for our SMEs to be able to better manage uh, the various uh, parts of their business in terms of economic indicators, differentiating between cash flow and profit, being able to reinvest, manage expansion, uh, lead uh, a wider workforce. And so we partnered on an African level with the African Union, uh, where we put together with the other NEPAD uh, collaboration, first to set up an academy, an academy where we provide uh, learning on digital platforms, virtual platforms to SMEs across Africa. Second, that collaboration provides wider market access. Uh, for most of our SMEs, they have the ability to produce, but the best place to sell is not necessarily within uh, their geographic uh, location. Uh, if you pick within Nigeria, for an SME who is producing in Calabar to, to make sales somewhere in Jos or somewhere in Ibadan, that is a challenge if they do not have market access. And so we are expanding market access, leveraging our footprint across Africa, 33 countries, to actually enable our SMEs through their websites to be able to showcase their services and using our various payment platforms uh, which enables payment across Africa, receive money. Yeah. In fact, in Nigeria, our SMEs can become a major uh, export and foreign exchange earning segment of the overall economy in Nigeria. We, want, we, want, we, we, we would like to expand that part of the conversation Thank within you. the Intra-Africa Trade EFCFTA. Let's expand this after break because Africa is where about 80% of our economies our SMEs, as you, as, our SME, MSMEs, as you said. But here we are right now with the COVID-19 pandemic. A number of these MSMEs can't pay salaries. Some of them are looking into liquidation. By the, at the end of the day, perhaps you banks may also be impacted. So how do we save the MSMEs and save you the banks yourself? And that's part of the conversation we're moving next when we come back. Stand by, everyone. Okay. Patrick Akiwoton, Managing Director and Regional Executive at EcoBank Nigeria Limited. We'll be right back, everyone. Yeah, the Economic Commission for Africa points that 80% that of African economies are SMEs, 70%
of which are in the informal sector. But with the COVID-19 pandemic and other challenges, how can banks negotiate repayments on all existing loans granted to MSMEs, provide working capital to them, and in the long run, save the MSMEs as well as the income of the banks? My guest, Patrick Akimoton, the CEO of Ecobank Nigeria, has spent time at the Ecobank Group in charge of consumer banking business across the bank's global network of 40 countries, 36 of which are in Africa. Thank you so much, sir, for standing by. Let's continue this conversation. What have you learned in all your years across the continent about the state of MSMEs in sub-Saharan Africa and what needs to be done differently and urgently? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, first, um, in close to uh, two and a half decades working with Ecobank and across uh, over 30 countries in Africa, I continue to see first incredible talent and incredible optimism and self-confidence that we really can beat the world in the average African I've, run, uh, I've met. But second is the frustration uh, that whilst we have this potential, uh, we are not getting every opportunity to translate it into reality. Third, the COVID scenario actually accelerated the exposure of SMEs uh, to digital platforms. And that has a very positive impact. Because when I talk of the next item, which is uh, the often uh, mentioned item, access to finance, uh, the real challenge for most financial services participants is uh, the ability to find credible financial data on which to base decisions to support SMEs. Today, that is a much uh, realizable situation because during COVID, most SMEs uh, in trying to keep with the COVID protocols started to rely on asking customers to pay them digitally, either by the telephone, either through the web, either through use of cards. And that creates a big opportunity, which is why in putting a uh, hundred billion naira on the table, we know that we will be able to see the track, the, the, the footprint of the financial performance of our SMEs. Now bring that to market access so SMEs can advertise on the web. So SMEs can use the social media to bring their services uh, into the palm of their target customers. Bring the two together and we see a coming together of unique uh, opportunities that will truly transform the ability to support SMEs going forward. And that is real good news for us across Africa. So, uh, MSMEs uh, have been identified as a critical part of the new Intra-Africa Regional Trade Agreement and payments and other financial services, as you were saying, will be key here in terms of settlement, clearing, whatever. Can the MSMEs depend on you, banks, to deliver this? Absolutely. Um, actually, earlier this year, uh, Ecobank, we raised 300 uh, million US dollars from the global debt market uh, in order to provide the, the working capital capacity to support Pan-African trade. Uh, because given our unique footprint, uh, we are the go-to bank for Pan-African trade in Africa. And we're bringing that to reality, particularly in the SME sector, in the manufacturing sector, in the export of key goods, pick Nigeria. That is the powerhouse of the economy in Africa. We have shea butter, we have cashew nuts, we have oil palm. We actually even have fashion. Uh, in, the, in the fashion industry, if you want to do wedding anywhere in Africa, you probably like to copy uh, what is produced out of Nigeria. Head, head gear, for instance. We can dominate in these areas, and we are beginning to do that. And it's not just Ecobank. Other players uh, in Nigeria and across Africa, Afro Exim Bank, ADB, uh, the various uh, financial services participants are beginning to focus on the opportunity because intra-Africa trade is only about 16% uh, of the trade, the export and import trade that goes on in Africa. If we take that to over 50%, we truly transform the economies of our various countries in Africa. And given Nigeria, uh, we have a major opportunity 
to finally place Nigeria as one of the leading economic powerhouses globally. Let me give you a statistic. Recently, it has been documented that Nigeria's real-time payment processing number of transactions is the sixth largest in the world. This is an area where all the work that has been done by NIPS, by the central bank, by banks like EcoBank and my colleagues, all the work we've been doing in terms of mobile app, USSD, uh, web-based banking, internet banking, POS, now the Nigerian scan and pay QR, NQR, all that has already propelled Nigeria to be number six in the world. Now, we have that path. We need to bring the services. We need to empower our women. In fact, we will also be introducing Elevate to enable women entrepreneurs have a direct opportunity to be beneficiaries of this 100 billion Naira uh, fund that we have put together for SMEs. So the future is very bright, and we're set to realize our potentials. Yes, the future is very bright. So when you talk about this 100 billion, how is it going to be disbursed in terms of your preparedness and how will, it, how will it go? What are the channels you're looking at and what sectors would you be specific about? We're specific about the agri sector. We're specific about manufacturing. We're specific about the creative industry. We have a lot of uh, entrepreneurs in the creative industry. Just as we partner with Terraculture, for instance, uh, the same way you see uh, Nigerian Nollywood everywhere, the same way you see our music is now standard for every black man uh, globally. Uh, out of every black man, a Nigerian is one out of six black uh, persons in the world. So that is a bet right, and we are beginning to do that. Now you said access. So very simple. You go on uh, ecobank.com, you uh, register yourself as an SME, uh, open an account, do your transactions, qualify for the various facilities. In fact, if you already have banking history with any other bank, we are, we are open to that. Apply online, we approve it online, and we disburse online. Last year, we disbursed to over 72,000 farmers in the Anchor Borrower Scheme uh, digitally uh, during the COVID. So we have that proven ability to bring the disbursement to every nook and corner across Nigeria for every qualifying SME that is able uh, to demonstrate uh, their cash flow potential. Digitally, you don't need to send paper all around. It's self-evident. We handle your collections. You ask for your gap. We connect you to the larger distributors. We connect you to the export market. So we see the, your cash flow cycle. Finally, we are also working with fintechs to help you have easy access to accounting entries, inventory management, and all that on a shared platform. You don't have to buy big computers or employ a lot of people to keep track of your inventory and your financing need. That can easily be done plug and play on this platform digitally, and you pay as you use. Simple, efficient, and truly transformational. We're set for this, and we welcome you. What about loan repayments by the MSMEs? Thank you. In this area, for instance, the central bank was quite proactive uh, in introducing the global settlement uh, standing instruction that ensures, together with the BVN, that we're able to track anyone that is owing on due date, we're able to implement a direct debit for collections. And because people know, together with BVN, uh, with the NIM, uh, uh, NIM uh, pro uh, program, where everybody is trackable digitally, then we are all conscious of our credit history. But fundamentally, the average Nigerian wishes to repay loans. The fact of the matter is that the few uh, Nigerians that took big loans and caused default in the, in the overall industry has crowded out the genuine wow. entrepreneurial SMEs. And that's what we're trying to open. We thank trust you. the SMEs thank and we bank with them. We thank you for speaking with us tonight on Arise Exchange. Patrick Akimoto, Managing Director and Regional Executive at Ecobank Nigeria. Yeah.